Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to this webinar where we're going to show you a little bit about our D6 Plus system and, and how it can benefit your school. My name is Keith Smith. I am the head of sales here at D6. And joining me today is Kerry, and I'm going to give her an opportunity to chat to us a little bit later. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about what D6 is about and where we come from. Uh, D6 has been in the South African schools market for almost 20 years now. Uh, we're probably best known for our school communicator product that's used by over 2,000 schools throughout South Africa, as well as a number of schools um, outside of South Africa. Uh, our other product, the one we're going to be showcasing today, um, and Kerry's going to lead the charge, uh, is our D6 Plus school administration system. It really is a system that can man manage every aspect of a school. And this one's currently running in, in, in just a shade under 800 schools throughout South Africa, including the Western Cape. Uh, so we've got lots and lots of schools that are using our system. We've been around for a long time. And uh, this, the system was actually developed in schools, by schools. So it's not us uh, coming up with a great product and then forcing it onto schools. It's really something that, uh, that we work with schools with to ensure that it, it aligns with what the school's requirements are. And that's part of our DNA. You can see on the, on the banner behind me, it says simplify life. And that's really what we're about, to simplify the lives of the, uh, of the people in schools to ensure that teachers aren't busy with admin, but they're in the classroom teaching. Um, and not only do we simplify lives, but we want to add value to schools as well and make sure that they are as efficient as possible. And we're going to get into that a little bit later as well. But enough from me. I'm sure you don't want to listen to me. You probably want to listen to the pretty lady to my left here. Kerry, uh, you are here to tell us about the admin module, uh, but before we get to that, and I'm very interested to hear about all these modules and things, before we get to that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Thanks for that introduction, Keith. So as Keith mentioned, my name is Kerry. I work in the sales team of D6. Um, I have been at D6 for just under 18 months now, and my main area of focus that we assist schools with is in the peninsula area. So I've got other colleagues that will be joining us on um, later on on this webinar. But for myself, I work in the South Peninsula area, and those are the schools that I help the most. So you have the joy of working with the schools in the southern suburbs and the city bowl, all the way down to uh, to Simonstown. Okay, that's very interesting. Some some very good schools out there. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so you've been here for eighteen months. So you joined us just as COVID said. Yeah, just, just as lockdown started. Yeah, no, I remember that. Yes. Those were fun times. <laughs> and we thought it would last 20 days. Yes. <laughs> Little did we know. Yes, how naive we were. We thought it'd be over in about a month or so. Okay, so as I mentioned, you're going to tell us about the administration module as well as the integrated communication module of uh, D6+. Plus. Um, before we actually get into the modules themselves, can you give us a brief overview of what the school administration system is about? Sure. So what we aim to do with our D6 school admin system is to have a really effective and efficient way to manage schools. So we've done that by taking various elements of school management and we've divided it up into four important modules that we use. So the sort of heartbeat of the system is our administration module and that is required in order to have certain additional modules added. So we do have one module which we can have on its own, which um, my lovely colleague Anna Lynn will talk about a bit later, which is our communication. Communication is obviously pivotal in schools, so that we can do on its own, but with regards to other modules, they do need to work off a main system, which is our admin system, and that's what I'm here to chat about today. So administration is our cloud-based management system, and it really ensures that schools have systems in place to follow through and help them with all aspects of their management. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Um, what would you say uh, is the benefit? Because you mentioned that it's 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 four core modules that, that, that work with the system and that they integrate them. So what is the benefit of having an integrated system like that? Okay, so we have our systems integrated um, in order for schools to have less work to do. That is our main focus. So we, by saying that, what we mean is you'll be able to have one database where you need to keep control of, up to date with, make sure that the correct staff have the correct rights to, and all of that is done in one system. So instead of having a multiple databases, one for 
one aspect of school management and another for another school aspect. We have one central system, which then when updates are done or when information is added, it pulls through and everyone is kept up to date and informed. That's very good. I've, I've been to a school where they have the system for communicating. They have another system for, which is the data warehouse, the admin part, another system to manage their, uh, their, their curriculum, another system to manage their finances and all these other systems. And none of them talk to each other. So what you're telling me is all these different modules talk to each other. So it saves time because you enter it in once. It probably also saves money because if there's, uh, you know, if there's a, a problem between different departments, say admin and finance, it never gets there. Exactly. And then maybe families don't get bored. Yeah, things can get lost in the system. So when you have one system, you eliminate all of that and you can have peace of mind knowing that it is being looked after effectively. And D6 Plus is that. So if, if you use the admin system, the finance system, integrated, knows about the families and the billing and everything. It's correct. Right. Okay, that's that's very cool. It sounds like it's going to save quite a lot of time and effort, but you said something that immediately triggered a red flag in my mind. You said it's cloud-based. Correct. Um, you can see this gray area is, 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 I don't purposely have it that way. What What exactly is cloud-based? Okay, so what we mean by that is as long as you've got a secure and safe internet connection, you'll be able to access the information you need. So there's no need for software to be installed on various um, staff's laptops or on various systems within the school. As long as there's an internet connection, anyone with the rights to access the information they're trying to will be able to do so. So by being cloud-based benefits of that, uh, your staff don't have to stay on after school in perhaps a, a dangerous scenario. Maybe there's only one or two staff in a big empty building and those staff can therefore go home and continue doing the work they need to do. This we found was uh, what schools really appreciated the most during lockdown. All the staff that were using our systems were able to continue with their workflow. They were able to update their systems as they required. No one actually had to go into the school building. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's it's hugely beneficial during Absolutely. something like COVID lockdowns and things because exactly. you're not allowed on the school grounds. And if it's in a file or on a local server, that's it. You can't do anything. And it also helps with being copy compliant in that sense. So you don't have to have files lying around and for teachers carrying heavy baskets to their car, mm -hmm. everything is available. On. Okay, but as, as things online go, I mean, I'm thinking Facebook and things like this, um, how safe is this? So we're familiar with security concerns and we have many systems in place to ensure that we are compliant for our schools. Yeah, so when Bobby came along, we, you know, we were pretty much 80%, 90% there. Correct. Okay, that's, that's fascinating and it sounds like an amazing system. Um, but tell us a little bit more about the administration model. So when schools have the admin module, they're able to do things such as discipline and absenteeism in one central place. So for example, with our discipline, um, instead of having learners walking around perhaps with a little discipline book where certain teachers have to write in their discipline, something like this when it's cloud-based, when a teacher adds on discipline, it pulls through onto the system and a staff member who's got discipline rights will be able to access whatever is there up to the minute. So discipline is important for our schools, absenteeism very important for the department to ensure that um, when they're needing or requiring their reports at one or two clicks of the button the absenteeism will be there. So that can be done either in classrooms or still maybe you have a, a staff in the front office that do it but either way it's still one central place. It's not um, registers and files being passed around. Okay now this is starting to scare me a little bit because I can remember uh, when I was at school and I had a little disciplinary book or I, I was um, absent, no one really knew. The book got lost and exactly. mum never knew that, that I was absent. Now, you spoke about an integrated communication module. If I get marked as being naughty, does it go to the integrated module and let my parents know? It does. And just speaking from a... a personal point of view, um, I'm fortunate enough the school that my two children go to use our full integrated system. So when they get a discipline notice or when there is absenteeism involved, I get a notification immediately. So if my child has been late for a certain period or class or there's been disruptions in the class, if it's something negative, within five minutes of the teacher loading it on, actually even less, I've got a notification through my Connect app 
um, as a parent to know that that's what my child is up to. So there is no ways that you, a child can pull the wool over their parents' eyes and lose things and not send home things. It's it's all there in black and white, very transparent for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. And um, the nice as the nice thing about that as well, the discipline is there is part of it is code of conduct, and that can actually be set up that when discipline notices are received. It, automated emails can go out. So even if a parent chooses not to use our app, maybe they don't want to have things like that coming through on their mobile phone, if they prefer maybe email for a method of communication, then they can get, the school can set it up that when a child receives um, discipline notices or recognition notices, those can be pulled through and automatically sent out to parents in the method of communication that they choose. This, we, we feel with um, admin, it's really about keeping parents uh, or keeping schools in control of things. So if you've got parents who have very specific needs or requirements, you can have that on the system and we will make sure that we follow through on those. Wowza, I feel really sorry for your son. <laughs> Goodness. I think if D6 Plus existed when I was in high school, I probably still yeah. wouldn't be able to sit. Okay, so now we've we've just touched on on integrated communication. Tell us a little bit more about that. What, what is that about? Sure. So with integrated communication, it means that uh, schools can communicate to parents in whichever way parents choose to be communicated to. So if you've got a situation where uh, you've got parents who like a specific method of communication, we can do that. Um, and we, when, with the integration, um, if parents are using the Connect app, it means that things such as their finance, maybe the children's academic records, um, anything like that that the school holds for them, a parent can access from the app, which is incredible. I mean, I, I can sit in my office at work and I can purchase my child a hot dog for a fundraiser by clicking one or two buttons. It immediately gets pulled through to the school and within two hours, the child is sitting with their lunch. And for us, that is an amazing, for busy working moms, that's amazing. Okay, so, so you're telling me the integrated communication module, I can, obviously you, you mentioned that it, it sends me a notification with discipline, but I can see a disciplinary record Correct. Uh, I can see marks and, and results, um, and finances. I can see all of this on the app. Correct. And that's the integrated system. Yes. Now, I know there's a standalone as well, which is non-integrated. Can, can standalone do that? Uh, standalone won't be able to give you um, information specifically on something like finance if your school doesn't subscribe to finance. So there are certain restrictions in place. But for the majority of information, such as communication, then certainly standalone is really beneficial for parents and for schools because you will be able to communicate directly to the parents. Okay, well, Annalene's going to be around a little bit later to talk to us about standalone as well. But it sounds to me that the major benefit of using admin and communication in this situation is the integration. It's the Absolutely. fact that once the children are loaded, uh, all the channels and everything's already created, everything exists on the communication platform, and there's a lot of automation between the two as well, whereas in standalone, by the sounds of it, it's, it's not necessarily going to be automated because it doesn't have a disciplinary uh, module to, to help the schools there. Okay, that is amazing. Thank you so much, Kerry. I appreciate the time you've spent with us to tell us a little bit about, more about the admin module. I do know that it is, uh, it, it is a fairly straightforward module, but there's so many features yeah. that if we really sat down and spoke about it, we'll still be here by supper time. So thank you so much for for giving us the admin module in a, in a nutshell. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask some questions uh, in this webinar. Uh, we've got our subject matter experts standing by to answer any questions you do have. Or if you are interested, um, please contact us at sales at d6.co.za uh, or alternatively visit our website at www.d6.co.za. Thanks again. Thanks. Next up, um, we're going to head over to Pretoria, um, where our, uh, our developer uh, and product owner, or one of our developers and product owner in charge of both admin and curriculum, Rian, is standing by. Um, Rian, this morning we could hardly hear you. Say hello to me. Hi, Keith. Can you hear me now? I can hear you loud and clear, Manir, and it's good to hear your voice again. Okay, so Rian, you're here to talk to us about curriculum. Um, um, but before we get there, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what are you and what do you do here in D6? Thanks, Keith. 
Uh, I'm the product owner for the admin and curriculum modules um, in D6 Plus. This means I have to make sure that uh, these modules serve the needs of our clients. And I do this by working with clients um, and uh, the requests on our community forum and uh, our internal departments to understand exactly what uh, our schools need. Based on that, I prioritize the development requests and I do quality control to ensure that what we put out there is uh, reliable and what schools actually need to use. I've been developing school administration software for 20, 24 years now, um, and I remain passionate about it. It's uh, always a challenging field and uh, never a dull day. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great field to work in. Well, it is. It's it's great to hear about uh, your your experience with working with schools. I mean, twenty four years developing these kind of systems certainly come with a lot of experience. So, it's good to know that we're in safe hands uh, when it when it comes to developing this this system. But we, we've just heard Kerry explain a little bit about admin and and the integrated communication. How does curriculum fit into what what Kerry just told us? Well, the admin module serves as a base for all the other modules in the system. Um, all the data that is captured in the admin system is available um, and forms part of the curriculum module. So the curriculum module builds on top of that and allows users to capture, for example, subject choices um, then marks, uh, comments, uh, and then to generate report cards, for example, in register class groups, um, uh, or per grade uh, based on combining the admin data and the curriculum data. Uh, we can also generate certificates, uh, lists and statistics, um, and the curriculum data also flows back into the admin system, uh, such as the promotion decision for the year-end rollover. As a cloud-based system, um, D6 Plus can effectively distribute the work of capturing marks to each educator. It's not necessary to have um, just a few people in the admin office do all the, the capturing of marks. That's a huge bottleneck. So um, we've uh, got an online system that any number of users can use. Um, and the system works with user rights. So there are fine grant marks capturing rights, which ensures that educators can only see or capture the marks that they are responsible for. However, if, if schools prefer to centralize marks capturing, those options are still available as well. Wow, that is, a, that is an impressive resume uh, for our curriculum module there. Thank you, Rian. Now, the schools that are joining us are from the Western Cape, and I know the very first thing they're going to ask you is CMUS. Why should they use D6 Plus? What does it offer that CMUS doesn't? D6 Plus is a real school administration system, uh, not just a departmental reporting system. Uh, it provides comprehensive functionality for schools and um, it provides what schools need to operate efficiently, not only what the department needs for their um, purposes. So D6 Plus focuses on making life easier for schools and uh, we assist as far as we can with reporting to the department. Um, some of the areas where our system stands out is in maintaining historical information, uh, such as report cards for previous years, uh, fin financial information for previous years, um, and we're also strong in electronic communication abilities, such as sending emails, uh, sending report cards via mail, sending discipline reports, um, or sending SMSs uh, to parents. And finally, our support to our schools uh, is one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, personal su support, and we pride ourselves on, on the quality of our support. That is fantastic. And uh, I, I love hearing about the report cards and the support and all this. And I'm definitely going to ask you a, more, a couple of more questions about those aspects. But before we get there, in your mind, what would you say would be the biggest benefits with using our curriculum module? Keith, the um, recording and reporting of learner performance is too big a job to do effectively without a quality system. You need some kind of curriculum system. Now, D6 Plus streamlines the, the whole process uh, from the capturing of learners um, through to their subject choices and subject groupings, capturing the marks and the comments, um, and finally generating your reports and your schedules and statistics and certificates. 
we follow departmental policies and publications very closely, and we build the system to work the way South African schools do. Um, that means things like the NPPPPR um, policy, the national policy pertaining to the promotion requirements of learners, um, that is built into the system. Um, however, the system is also very adaptable to different situations. We don't just support CAPS, we've also got IB schools, Cambridge schools, ELSIN schools, and even foreign schools using the system. Wow. Because everything is configurable. Um, you're not stuck with the official subjects that the uh, department provides. You can add in enrichment subjects. Uh, you can modify our marks and promotion decisions are calculated. Um, everything is adjustable and that makes it very uh, suitable for different situations. Uh, as I said before, we also have very strong communication abilities um, with the emailing of report cards and marks can also be viewed by parents in the, in the D6 Connect app, just like they can view absenteeism and discipline. Uh, schedules and statistics can be exported to Excel. Um, so, and, and a lot of other reports um, are also Excel enabled. That uh, makes it easy to, uh, to get the data um, out of the system and use it for your own purposes. You can filter and sort, you can do mail mergers, um, all kinds of uh, uh, you know, additional benefits. We also have built-in SMS functionality, which is very effective at reaching parents. Um, during lockdown, the ability to communicate electronically was literally a lifesaver. Goodness. Um, it sounds like the curriculum module can do any, everything. Can it uh, clean my house, maybe wash the dishes, anything like that? No, not yet. Not yet. I like that. I like it. But I'm, I'm going to ask, ask you. I'm going to ask you something now that I often get from schools because one of the big pains uh, that schools experience is closer to the end of the year when it comes to to uh, prize giving days and things like that. Uh, it's lots of lists and lots of data, and lots of things they have to to look into to to award certificates or something. Can this system, this curriculum module, can it assist with something like prize giving day? Definitely. Uh, we've got the ability to generate certificates and uh, it's based on criteria which uh, a school can define themselves. Uh, once you set up the criteria, it will automatically compile the certificates. Um, so once your marks are done, your certificates are done as well. Um, you basically just need to print them. So no more meetings and hard work to find out who was the best in maths. You just click a button and it tells you. It's in the system. The system knows, so um, yeah, you can easily print those lists. Wow, massive time saver. Okay, uh, you spoke about report cards earlier and I promised you I'm gonna get back to this. Um, every school I speak to believe their report card is the best report card in the universe ever. Does the system allow schools to adjust the report card template so that it looks just like the way they want it? We've got a report card template editor that um, allows them to adjust the templates um, within a framework that we provide. So not every uh, possible report card um, or you know, any, any possible layout, but there's a lot of flexibility uh, in, the, in the templates that we provide. You can modify um, the format and the layout, um, how you want to display your marks, uh, for example, percentages or levels or both. Uh, whether you want to show promotion decisions, whether you want to print remarks on the report, you can choose whether you want to print uh, just uh, subject marks or every task, every assessment, uh, just for one term or multiple terms. Um, we can do automatic circling of marks. Um, you can print, uh, you can assign comments to learners either individually or for a group of learners. Uh, we can do learner and grade averages uh, and uh, those are just the most common functions. There's a lot more options um, in the template setup. Okay. We also have functionality for effort ratings, uh, which is um, uh, quite popular in, in um, uh, foreign countries. It allows schools to uh, indicate how much effort a learner put into achieving their marks. Um, we know for some learners, uh, a 50% mark might be a um, an achievement and uh, achieved through hard work, while 
other learners might sleep through class to achieve that. Um, so it's often valuable to know how much uh, effort they put in as well. Yeah. Rian, you strike me as somebody that could sleep through class and get 100%. Um, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> okay. So um, Kerry mentioned it a bit earlier, and I thought to myself, uh, this is something I need to ask you about, and it's about the signing rights. So specifically about adding marks into the uh, into the system. If as a teacher, let's say I'm the maths teacher, I add my class's marks into it. Can the entire school, everybody that has access to the system, see the marks I've added in? It depends on what the school wants. Um, we've got fine-grained marks capturing rights. So if uh, if the school or the administrator wants to open the marks for all the educators, that's possible. But uh, if they prefer to set up um, separate um, capturing rights for every teacher, that certainly can be done. Uh, the de default in the system would be for every teacher to only see their marks. We also provide options for subject aids, which allow them to see all the marks of their subjects. So those two roles, um, uh, the educator and the subject aid, is uh, set up automatically. And any additional marks capturers can be added to the system. Um, with that, schools have the flexibility to uh, completely control who can see and or edit the marks. Okay. You also mentioned support. And I know a lot of schools are always weary with buying uh, any kind of product because they get sold a product and then people disappear and they don't get support. So if, for example, uh, it's the end of the year, I've got report cards and, and, and submissions I need to make to the DOE and stuff, and I need help, what can I expect? Will, will these six be there to help me? Definitely. Support is a big thing. Um, you can have the fanciest system in the world, and if it's not supported, then when it's crunch time and you need help and you don't get it, um, it's, that system is not going to mean anything. So we really work hard to support our schools um, as well as we can. Um, we've got a dedicated support team that is always on standby and provides one-on-one uh, -on -one support. Um, so schools send in an email uh, and um, they get contacted back by uh, the support client. They can also call in um, after sending the mail uh, to speak telephonically to one of our support agents. And um, we've, we've got additional departments that focus on specific areas that schools um, need, need more attention with. So we've got a compliance department which focuses exclusively on departmental requirements and an enrichment department who works to help schools get the most out of the system. They can even do some of the work for schools, uh, such as um, curriculum maintenance. We provide uh, maintenance plans um, for the schools who, who want to take advantage of that. Now, my development team and I work very closely with all of these departments to ensure that we stay close to what the schools um, need at different times of the year and to make sure that the system remains uh, productive and um, online at all times. That is amazing. Thank you, Rian. We've unfortunately run out of time and we have to move on to our next segment, but that was a, a fascinating look at what the curriculum, curriculum module can do for schools and how it can save them time, make them more efficient and simplify their life. Thank you very much. Enjoy the nice warm weather in Pretoria while you have it. There's a cold front on the way. Well, do. Thanks, Keith. Thank you, Rian. Okay. Um, next up is Don that's going to have a chat with us about finance. Uh, but before we get to Don, uh, I just want to reiterate what Rian has said about our support. I happen to know that the developers actually sit in the report room, as, uh, in the support room as well. So the people that actually build the product is part of our support team as well. So really, there's not a question you can ask that they won't be able to answer. Hello, Don. How are you doing? Hi, uh, Keith. Fine in yourself. Well, I'm very, very well, thank you. Let me quickly introduce you to, uh, to our attendees. Uh, Don is the legend of the company that actually started uh, D6 Plus way back in the days when it was still called Principal Primary. Really, really led this product to where it is today. And you're here today to talk to us about the finance module, which is, as Kerry explained, one of the, uh, the modules that, uh, that forms part of D6 Plus. 
it's it's always fascinating to listen to you. So, Don, I'm going to hand you the mic. Please show us what Finance Plus can do. Thanks, uh, Keith. I'm just going to quickly share my screen here and just confirm that you can see that. Yes, it is saying that it is loading it. It should be. There we go. I can see you. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with something like uh, a little bit of a comparison because I think uh, the majority of schools that um, that is uh, looking at the demonstration today typically are using uh, proper accounting software like Pastel or Sage or QuickBooks or one of those. Uh, so what I've done here is basically just to compare some functionalities which that um, systems provide. So just for clarity, we are doing at least what the basic uh, other financial systems are doing. But as you can see, in terms of general ledger, there's a lot of more functionality which uh, we um, include. And it's because the product has been developed in schools, with schools, for schools, that we identified the needs uh, specifically of schools and included that in the module as well. The items that's linked blue or, or uh, highlighted in blue, uh, we'll try and show that to you quickly today. And there's a couple of time savers. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through them. We've got a data handover functionality which separates the debt managed by the school versus the debt separate, uh, managed by third-party debt collectors can create as many debt collectors as you want, and all of those debts will be managed separately with separate reporting, etc. System integrates with all the South African banks, so you never ever have to capture a bank statement again or worry about a duplicate transaction or maybe missing a transaction. So all of that functionality comes standard. Uh, if your school has got a debit order system, um, one of the big time savers is the automatic receipting of um, debit orders and handling the rejection transactions automatically. So instead of running um, typically how the pastels of the world are, is working is with recurring batches. So we don't work with that uh, because of the integrated nature of the modules linked to the admin. If a learner asks for a transfer card and he's on a debit order, uh, automatically the learner will be removed from the next debit order run if his account is up to date. So it's that type of integration that uh, that uh, is really going to add value to you. So that's a couple of time savers. Let's quickly look at a couple of um, of the small functionality items that um, is really going to, uh, we believe, change the way how you perceive the system and how it could potentially uh, help you. I think the first thing that I want to demonstrate is that the system never archives any uh, information. So uh, the first school we started in 2006 was our product. They basically now have 15 years of comparative information uh, and they can do any, um, specifically from a financial perspective, this is very valuable. So the one key thing that I just want to quickly show you in terms of when you look, this is our little finance module. Uh, it's got the general ledger, the cash book, the debtors, the creditors and the whole budget. But if we typically just look at something like our account statements, for example, uh, we can go back up to 2006 and this will grow as your school. Uh, if you only start in 2022, then obviously you can start uh, building history from, from that date. But if we go back to the year 2009, and I just want to show you my family code. In that year, uh, that was my eldest daughter. And also be a normally our school work is that you know the eldest learner's name of the family. So when the next one comes, you will, you know, start to adapting to those um, new names. So then, uh, just by way of demonstration, two years later, then the name is automatically updated to the eldest learner's name. And if you move a couple of years later, then you will see that that name is again uh, changing. Just a couple of other nice uh, features is if you look at our receipting system, for example, we've got specific receipts where we can, um, which works like a school is working. So you can do a receipt, let's say by project or by register plot. So let's say typically you're sitting and it's uh, specifically also in the primary schools, they're working with these uh, money bags uh, that still runs around. And if you specifically say, let's say it's for this specific uh, 
project, then automatically it will bring the list of names. And when, as you select these and this and this and this learner has paid, there's options to also print separate receipts for each learner, which the normal accounting system doesn't allow for these type of level of, of detail to be captured. So when we get to a lot of schools, they normally do their fundraisers in a five liter ice cream tub and put all the money in and whatever, and you know, they pay all the expenses and whatever is left, they literally just uh, capture one transaction for that. So with this system, it, it really is going to change the way how you, how you start capturing transactions and the level of detail that you can capture is, uh, you know, it's going to change the way how you then can obviously then report. So let's quickly just have a look. Uh, I think you have mentioned that um, we've got an integrated app, uh, communication application. So I'm just going to quickly show you the project functionality of, of the module. So we can create a new project. To create the project is literally, and the project can be anything. So we're just going to do today a Western Cape demo project. No, the project would be something like a, a tour or something, right? It can be anything. It can be a tour, it can be an excursion, it can be a Let's say you want to build a new um, facility, a school hall, you can create a project for that. Then people can donate money into the project and you can pay expenses from the project. And you can always see what is the balance of that project. So being the financial, uh, the financial people that's listening to this now, uh, a project is running on the balance sheet up until the point at which you decide that you want to close the project and in which case that project will be um, moved either to the um, income statement or balance sheet, depending on, on where you want your project funds to go. So you can have multiple projects, which um, accumulates to one bigger project. You can do that as well. Or you can say, this is a rugby tour uh, for the first team and they're going to Durban, for example, and then you, will, you can select your learners. Um, and you can close that project to something like the rugby budget item, if I may say it like that. So if it makes a profit, rugby is going to have more money. If it makes a loss, it's going to uh, eat away some of that budget that you've got available. Um, then the next thing, you're going to choose your project manager, which is obviously the list of all your teachers already in the, in the system. There you choose your control account on the balance sheet and your income statement account where the profit or loss, as I just explained. Then the next important one is to say uh, whether the project has a specific amount. So let's say just for example today, everybody's got to pay 500 grand. And then to link learners to the project, we can link learners on multiple ways. So you can either link it per learner. So if you've got the names of that 15 first team players, you can select them manually. Or what you can do is you can link it per register class or grade. And when you, what you also can do is you can do it per channel. So you can, you can say, I want to everybody that's got accounting in terms three, if there's learners there, the names will be to the left and you can then just select them. So this is again integration from the communication module that you can uh, integrate with and then make it easier. Just for way of uh, quick uh, demonstration, my learner is I think in grade 11 on the demonstration system. So. Let's say all those learners must participate in the project and we're going to create this project. Now, the first thing that, that always comes to mind is how much is the total budget that we've got available? And the majority of schools runs these projects in something like Excel and uh, this was, uh, normally everybody's got to take their small receipt and go to the educator and tell him, sir, I've paid for the project and he goes and he marks it, etc., etc. But we are changing the whole way how that thing is working. So you can go onto your project, there's your project, and when you uh, look at your total, there you can see already there is some people that have already paid into my project, but let's say who has paid, if I click on it, you can immediately see the total budget for our project is 22,500, and there's the list of names. So this is all the grade six to 12, which I've selected. Now, uh, you can see that there's already two parents that have paid, and I'm going to show you just now. Some of you might think that it's a little bit uh, 
too quick, but let me quickly show you how this is working. So what actually happened in the back end, because of the integrated nature, I'm just going to quickly start the screen of mine again so you can see my um, you can see my phone again. Just a second, uh, it should be there. All right, and if I open my D6 Connect application, then automatically what's happened is that uh, you will see there's my list of normal news items. So this is the normal communication that you send through to the app up to the parent. But now because of the integrated nature, I now got what we call a payment card. And then you can see Western Cape demo project for 500 Rand. Now I can go in there, open it up. And, and now this is the user experience from a parent side. So let's say now I only have 300 Rand. I can select 300 Rand, proceed to pay and I can pay 300, it will go into my uh, wallet, see that I've got money available, and the parent can just keep uh, pay. So what happens in back is that the system has now automatically issued the receipt for my learner. So my learner's name is Kari for Mark, so if I'm going to go to my home, and I'm going to go my, to my projects, then you will be able to see on that project, there's 1,300 Rand already there. And then you will see, oh, there's two people that has already paid the 500. I've paid my 300 Rand and the receipt number is, has been automatically issued. So the whole process of receiving funds is totally automated. The bank reconciliation process of this money is totally uh, automated. And I think when the people from the secret wallet speaks a little bit later, they can elaborate a little bit more on that. So just that you understand, we create a separate cash book uh, inside your, your chart of accounts. And then this 300 and this 1,300 Rand is basically now sitting in that cash book. And once a week, we transfer the money back into your F&B or APSA account. Right, so if we then again go to who has paid and who hasn't paid, there's the list. And then you can see there's my learner's name. I've paid 300 Rand. And just for completeness, just going to quickly finish this payment. Now it says 200 Rand. And if I proceed to pay, then obviously the rest just handles happens. And what is also nice is that inside the app, it gives me a little payment card, which says at the top there, you should be able to see now. Thank you for your payment. Uh, and we also then email the receipts to the, to the specific parent. Um, so yeah, that, this is in a nutshell some functionality that uh, may save you a little bit of time. So we can just go for completeness. Let me just show you the little project there. And now you see there's the 1,500 and now my learner's name should also be listed as not highlighted. And then it's quite easy to, uh, to identify these transactions. So I think Keith, in a, in a nutshell, there's, there's a lot more that we can uh, that we can, I'm just going to stop my screen at this point. So I think there's a lot more that we can show, but I think at the end of the day, it's about the integrated nature of the various modules, which is, um, you know, this is the reason why a school should, should actually look at an integrated financial module is because it's really going to take your school to the next level in terms of what you can achieve. Thank you, Don. Uh, you're absolutely right. What I got from there is that, uh, firstly, once the learners loaded, they loaded onto the finance module. And for things like projects and billing and all this, it kind of happens in the background. You don't have to have someone capture all the names. And when it's something like a project or, or even school fees, if it get paid, gets paid from the integrated communication module, it's done. It's, it's recorded in the finance module. It doesn't need more work. Yes, it's 100% true like that. So if a parent pays, um, you're in control as a school as to whether you want to accept payment via the D6 Connect app or not. So let's say you've got a project and specifically you don't want to include that project for cashless payments. You've got the option to do that. Uh, we do have a lot of schools that include all their projects for, for cashless payments, but their school fees, they still prefer some of the schools to say you can pay this, uh, you know, only by EFT. But it's up to the school to say they want to do that or not. That is brilliant. Thank you so much, Don. Um, I appreciate you spending some time with us uh, to tell us more about the finance module. 
And as Don has said, um, it's it's quite a big module as well, and uh, it'll take much, much more more time to go into detail of all the other functions. But as you showed in the beginning, Don, pretty much what Pistel can do, we can do, and then so much more. Yes, no, thank you very much. And I think at the end of the day, we our process-driven process in terms of you know giving you a list of tasks of you've receipted money over the counter, it's assisting you to basically just do your job uh, properly. And if you just look at your daily tasks from the financial module side, you know, it's really going to take your school to the next level. So thanks very much for the opportunity, Keith, and I hope uh, some of the schools saw something that they might uh, be interested in. I'm sure they will. Thanks, Don. Have a, have a good day. Okay. Now, something Don showed while he was doing his demonstration on the finance uh, on the finance module really got my interest, and that's why you here. Uh, Don made payments and did everything, and there was no need for cash or banks and all kinds of stuff. So I'm joined here by Melissa, who's Hi. from Stick It. Yes. And first, you're going to tell us who's Stick It and what have you got to do with D6? What have we got to do with D6? Interesting question. So D6 is a third-party payment processor. So our main focus is within the payment ecosystems within the education industry. So we work alongside you guys, D6, to reduce the dependency on cash and card payments through our wallet-based payment platform, Stick It Pay. Okay, so yes. we're in partnership. We, yes. we make the beautiful systems, you process the money. Besties, yes. Yes, <laughs> sounds great. Okay, you've got something to show I us. I do, yes. So I have a little presentation here for you that I'm going to go through. I already told you who we are. Mm. Can you see my screen? It's not sharing at the moment. Let me just do that again. And it's saying almost. We're going to get there in a second. Great old technology. Always a standby. Always. There we go. There we go. go. Awesome. Okay. So I basically told you a little bit about us. So what we aim to do and what we've spent a lot of time doing and what we continue spending a lot of time doing is trying to understand the frustrations that a lot of schools face. So things like um, reducing how much time they spend on admin, um, reducing alternative costs to costly card machines, and obviously another great one is reducing the risk of cash on campus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, I mean, the news is filled with people robbing schools because they soft targets and there's right. children. Yes. So effectively, what you're telling me is this will take cash off campus. Yes. For everything. For everything. Tuck shop as well. Tuck shop as well. Lovely. Yes. So basically, our solution covers all aspects within the school. So things like school fees, um, ad hoc payments like projects, outings, fundraisers, um, school events, and then on-campus payments like your tax shops and your clothing stores. You said school fees. So I can pay my school fees on the D6 Connect app. Correct, yes. All of it? All of it. What if I want to make part payments? Can I do that? Yeah. Wow. Yes. So basically, like Don showed earlier, when you just go and pay, it's in the same area, you're just going to make payments. Just uh, what kind of hardware or software do I need to make this work? So there's no additional hardware for the school um, and there's no additional for, for ad hoc payments. So if your tuck shop or clothing store is on board, they don't need any physical hardware and then there's no additional software for the school. So what you're telling me is if I've got um, if I've got the integrated connect and I've got it in my app, I can I've, I've got access to cashless. Yes. Wow. Easy peasy. So all our software runs on iOS and Android, so it's easy to get going. There's no little extras that you need to do. Very cool. Yes, it is. And like I said, we are fully integrated, so it doesn't matter which module you have, whether it be D6 Finance or D6 Communication, it's all in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so my favorite part that I'm going to show you is we have the fast payment option. So we've got tap to pay, scan to pay, and a lot of our schools are also now doing online stores. So their clothing stores are now becoming online. Very cool. Um, but I'm going to show you how it works if you were, for instance, using it in a tuck shop environment. I'm just going to log in here so I can share my cell phone with you. Okay, so when you say tap to pay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this and I'm going to keep do. it. Uh, oh, keep it. Not keep it forever, but no, you can no, keep no. it for now. It's, it's mine now, <laughs> you know, ownership and all that. 
So what you're telling me is you can get your child a, a wristband like this. Correct. And when they go to the tuck shop, they just tap and pay. Just tap and pay. And it, it, I noticed you said it's got a QR code as well. So if you've got, say, a uh, soapbox derby and there's there's a pancake store, they just need the QR code and the parents can just scan and pay. Yes. A lot like SnapScan or Zappa. A lot like SnapScan or Zappa. So if you are, like you said, if you have a sports day at school and there's Quite a few different vendors they can each just get a QR code display it at their stall and then parents can come scan it pay off you go no cash no cash no, no cash no need to make sure you've got enough one rands and two rands for the chain either no. now the most important question i have to ask you is how much money is on you mine currently yes i can't share that with you <laughs> but i i, I want to go to the tuck shop i haven't had something good to eat today so so you want to just go to the thing? Yeah, I think we should. So how many schools currently use the system? Do you know? Quite a few. A okay. lot of our schools use the system. I'm so sorry, I'm having a little issue here. Yeah, it seems like we're having some technical issues. So, <laughs> so maybe just let's just go on with the yes. with the um, uh, the presentation you've had. Because Don has showed us a little bit about how yes, it works yes, and, really and how, how to transact. Nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> so another option that we have is obviously our pricing options. You're probably wondering how much it's going to cost. Yes. There's no sign-up fees and there's no monthly fees. So payments option one is a 2.5% transaction fee. So for every transaction that the school does, it's 2.5%. The second one is a fixed monthly fee option, which has unlimited payments. Is this Vodacom Unlimited or Unlimited Unlimited? Unlimited Unlimited. So if the school does like 10,000 transactions, it's 10,000. Okay, so if I pay 100,000 rands worth of school fees, there's no additional charges to that? No, no. Sure. Yeah. There's not a lot of people that can offer that kind of, of, of environment. No. I, I think you've got quite an innovative way of, of launching the system on schools. Yes. So just tell me a little bit more about how that one works. So we usually suggest when the schools just start out is going on the 2.5 system. Obviously, it's technology. So lots of people take a lot of time to get used to technology. So once you see the uptake is a lot higher, then we definitely recommend moving on to the fixed monthly payments. Okay. Yes. Uh, just now I asked you if there's schools using it, and you said there's quite a few schools, yes. but do you have an example for us of a school that's currently using the cashless environment? Yes, we do. So Paul Girls High, amongst a lot of other schools, have a great example of how they, to their own benefit, have adopted our solution to fit them. So one that I really like is that the finance administration staff are performing 50% less payment reconciliation work. I don't know about you, but I don't like no, like, no, a lot no. of people don't like admit. No, 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 no. I, I prefer no admin. Yes. Uh, I mean, if, if you're gonna, if the system's gonna do the admin for me, I'm all for That's it. Great. And we have um, also significantly reduced cash and card payments on campus, which is good. And then we have also reduced foot traffic and queues at the cafeteria and the clothing store by thirty percent. The ball girls loves you. That's that's what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I, I bought all the systems and I've done all this. Uh, again, who's going to help me if things don't work? We are actively involved from onboarding and right through your continuous rollout of Sticker Pay. Wow. Yes. That is amazing. Yes. Thank you, Melissa. Excuse me, or our support team are on board all the time. Wow. Thank you so much, it's Melissa. A pleasure. That was I'm amazing. Sorry, I'll just sure I'll just hold on to this no. for now. <laughs> Possession, nine tenths of the law. No, you can keep that. Uh, I'll, sure? Yeah, I'll get my smarties afterwards. So, thank you so much yes, for showing us how cashless works. Thank you so much. Now, what we've seen to this point uh, are the core modules. Uh, we've spoken about admin curriculum and finance, and we've seen how cashless integrates with our integrated communication system and how you can effortlessly make payments. And you don't need to capture all of those payments because the system does it automatically. So that's a, a massive benefit in terms of time saving and cost saving already. And I'd, I'd go as far as saying that probably just that would save you enough money to afford the system. But what if you don't want the system? You just want to have something that can communicate with your parents. And for that, um, my colleague, Annalene, is going to have a chat with us about what we like to call standalone. Hello, Annalene. How are you doing? Hello, Keith. Very well and yourself. Thank you. 
Very, very well, thank you. So, Adeline, before we get into products and standalone and stuff, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what do you do here at D6? Okay, so I'm an account executive um, at D6, and um, the schools that I take care of are situated in the West Coast area and the northern suburbs. That is fantastic. I love the West Coast. So I don't need an excuse to head out there. But now we're talking about standalone, which we've been speaking about integrated the whole time. So that's one product. Now, standalone is a different one. What is yes. it about? Okay, so like all my colleagues explained, you get the D6 plus school management system, um, and then you get the standalone system. And that's what I'm going to talk a little bit about today. So I'm just going to take a step back to give you a, a clearer view of how the standalone came about. Uh, the school communicator, which a lot of the schools know, it's that little blue um, app logo. Uh, a lot of schools perhaps still use the communicator and everyone has definitely seen it. So that was our first communication platform that we used. And then catering to a growing demand for a school, a total school management system, the D6 plus integrated school management system was designed. And that's what my colleagues discussed previously. And then we had a few communication challenges and that guided us to improve on the old communicator. We sat with schools, we listened to them and their challenges experience. And then D6 created the standalone version from the D6 plus integrated platform. And this app is called the D6 Connect. So it is a communication model module on its own, which is not part of the D6 plus school management system, but should a school needs change, um, it can integrate and pull into the management system. So it's, it's separate in a communication module on its own, but it can be integrated at a later, at a later stage should a school needs change, and then you can just add modules to that. Um, it's an authenticated app where mostly schools, but also businesses and churches um, can communicate with the community. And it's a system that specializes in communication on one platform, uh, being able to reach a very broad spectrum community environment at once. The standalone is the upgraded version of the school communicator, which I just spoke about. It's got new and extra functions and many improvements. And um, just keep in mind that if you, if you look at the standalone, and I'm going to share something very exciting about the standalone with you shortly, well, at the end. Um, if you look at the standalone system, and yes, it's a communication platform on its own, Please keep in mind, should your needs change ever in the future and you need the curriculum, you need the finance modules, it can be integrated into the D6 Plus management system. Okay, so it, it sounds very good, but can you explain to me how would a school use it to, to actually communicate with parents? Yes, so Kerry did touch on this briefly. Um, um, I'm going to give you some examples, not, not all of the communication aspects, but some of the most important points. Um, the school can send out news items um, to, to parents on the app. For example, the netball is cancelled today because of the rain. And on this function, on this news item that you send out, the school can ask questions and the parents can answer these questions uh, through the app. And this also replaces reply slips uh, from parents. And because of this answer reply function, it can also facilitate elections. Um, and then you also get the multi-platform communication function where it allows you to communicate with your parents via the app, via email and SMS. And you can use the methods that D6 has made available on the app for you. For example, if the school chooses the least costly method, um, it will cover everyone that is registered on the app first, and then it will target those that have emails. And then lastly, it will target the, the last few parents via SMS. We would like to keep the SMSs to a minimum because that does cost the school 29 cents per SMS. So first app, then email, then SMS. And none of this means any duplication of work. And you can also add attachments to these messages and you can add links. And then also you can create uh, calendars. Um, that which the parents will receive through the app. And on these different calendars that the schools have created, you can add events. So for example, you can um, create a rugby calendar and then the match 
which you will insert into the calendar and send out to the parents, that will be the event. And then the address of the match will be sent directly to the, to the parents through a pin location. And then the attachment that you will add to this um, calendar will be the program for the, for the rugby match. And then you can also add resources to your calendar with attachments and links and examples of resources of policies and newsletters and, and homework for the learners as well. Goodness, it can take care of everything. Yes. But I'm going to tell you right now what a lot of people in schools thinking. They're saying we've, we've got our communicator or whatever we're using. It, it's running nicely. Now we're going to have to move to a new system. Do we have to capture the database and all the parents and, and everything by ourselves or is DCF going to help us? Okay, so it's, it's actually, it's, it's a one-liner answer. It's very, very simple. We provide the school with an Excel template, and then they add the database, and it's imported into the system, Quick Sticks. Okay. Uh, something I've heard from people as well with the systems they're using at the moment, uh, whether it's WhatsApp or a different kind of communication medium, is that it's a broadcast. So you send it to everybody. So if you don't even have a daughter, you get the netball message. Will Connect do the same thing? Okay, so no. Um, luckily, um, like I said previously, we listened to, to the challenges that schools experience and, and we improved on that. So with the D6 Connect app um, on this platform, you can communicate with specific groups or channels, as we like to call them, that the school has set up. Um, this makes the information to the recipients much more relevant. So that means that um, a netball mom will not receive rugby information or the grade eights won't receive matric exam information. So it's relevant and it's through certain channels and parents subs uh, subscribe to certain channels that the school have li has linked them to. And you mentioned earlier that it's authenticated. And, and what I assume that means is that we actually identify that the parent is on the database. So they're authenticated as being a parent in the school. And I assume that means that an outside person can't access uh, sensitive information in the school. Absolutely correct. Um, the popular compliance, one of the things that we had to bring into play here, um, much more strict. And um, so you have to be a registered parent. Um, your cell phone has to be loaded onto the system and the school had to send you your login details to be able to use the platform. So um, only registered parents will receive information through the channels that they are linked to. Okay. My Second to last question to you, on what platforms can you access D6 Connect? Okay, so you can either download it, uh, download the app on your desktop. So if you're on your computer at work a lot, you can use that platform or you can log into the web portal in a browser. And obviously the most popular one is um, our mobile app for your for your phone. And then I'm proud to say that we have over a million end users that's currently using the D6 Connect. Yes, a million end users and, and, and almost 2,500 schools. So it is very impressive. Thank you, Annaline. I'm going to... Thank you. For now. Thank you. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we've, we've got these great products and we're used by many schools. So don't take our word for us, uh, for it. If you'd like some references or testimonials, we'll be more than happy to provide you with those as well. So please don't take our word. Contact us and ask for those testimonials. We'll be happy to do it. I mentioned a bit earlier that it's not just about products. Uh, we're really, really dedicated to making schools more efficient and to enable them to achieve their goals as well. And joining me right now is one of my colleagues, Werner, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about how the schools can actually create new income streams from our products. Hello, Werner. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Keith. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. I hope that this could add to what Annalim was speaking about as well, because from a D6 group side, it has been the dream of our CEO to really keep on giving back and come up in, and to come up with initiative ways and initiatives to actually start giving back more and more through other methods as well. And one of these methods we came up with is called the media advertising platforms, what we have. Now, what would, how that would work is each and every time which you see a little banner running and scrolling on the D6 communicator, the app itself, that is what you what we be calling the industry an impression. Those impressions are recorded via our ad server. And what we then do is we come up with a very 
nice way to give back to the schools by taking those impressions, adding an amount to them, and we start giving X percentage back to the schools. Now, these percentages are linked to various levels. If you've got your communication up and running, your communication, which you guys are chatting about now, the D6 Connect app installed, you will automatically qualify in a level two, and you get up until 10% of the revenue that's been generated from the media uh, revenue get paid back to the schools. These levels go up to level six if you and if and should you get all the modules um, active and activate them at the schools, you qualify up to 40% reward system that or up to get up to 40% rewards back to the schools. That will give you a, a level six. So it's a good way of D6 giving the school the opportunity to actually start funding and substituting those monthly costs for any product that which they uh, invest in with D6. Wagner, you had me at 40%. So what you are telling me is if I've got admin curriculum finance and integrated communication, you're going to give me a 40% cut of the advertising we do on the school's app. Of the revenue that's been generated from that specific school, we then do the calculation and we pay back up to 40% of that revenue back to the schools. Now, thus far, Keith, we've, um, you know, over 660,000 Rand has been reinvested by D6 Group back to the schools um, to just to say thank you um, at the end of the day, because, you know, we want to connect community brands, advertisers together with the schools, get relevant offerings in front of the parents at the end of the day. Uh, it's non-invasive advertising. It's not going to irritate the parent with banners popping up. It looks like a, a, a busy evening in Tokyo and everything like that at all. So the advertising is there to really add value at the end of the day for the brand, for the school now as well. There's got to be a catch. And I bet the catch is that the schools have to go sell the advertising. Am I right? Keith, the great thing is uh, D6 has got a dedicated sales team um, who, throughout the country um, who sell that inventory on behalf of the schools. So the schools don't even have to get involved and we don't even take over any relationship with your local businesses or the local brands that sponsor the school or anything like that at all. We are there to um, get engaged with those brands, give them the opportunity to advertise at a minimal fee on that specific school and from there on the revenue that's been generated as mentioned that percentage then gets paid back to the school as well so no the schools don't have to don't have to get involved we're looking forward to forming a good relationship with the marketing teams or with the schools uh, individuals who have contact with those community brands and then really add value at the end of the day no way I, I, i'm struggling to believe what you're telling me here so the schools do nothing and could potentially earn 40% of the advertising revenue on the app. And they do nothing. On that specific app for that specific school, that is correct, Keith, yes. Um, it, it, like amazing. I mentioned, we, we really want to start giving back in it. And we have actually been doing it for the last couple of years. And as you mentioned, I mean, it's more than 600,000 Rand that has gone back to schools. And I can imagine from this, this revenue stream, uh, schools can actually pay for the integrated system just from that revenue stream. So effectively, we are giving it away for free. C correct. And um, look, at the end of the day, if the schools don't want to pay for, for, you know, use, use the, uh, uh, the funds for that, they can use the funds. They've got carte blanche how they want to use and allocate those funds at the end of the day. But, I mean, you've got a system that's going to add value, make your life so much easier within the management uh, sector within the school. So, yes, you can substitute it and, and pay for that software as a service. That is brilliant news. Thank you, Werner. Thank you for sharing uh, this bit of good news with us. And uh, thank you for the initiative that you're driving with ensuring that our schools that their lives are simplified and that we can create income streams for us. And we all know during COVID how difficult some schools are finding it with uh, school fees not being paid. So any additional income stream is, is worth its weight in gold. Thank you, Munir. Thank you, Keith. Thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. Have a lovely afternoon. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a meeting with one of our accounts executives, please feel free to join their breakout sessions. Clearance that covers areas like the West Rand and Johannesburg. This will include Midrand, Santon, Soweto, as well as Lanseria. LZ is the full triangle as well as the East Rand.
Yaku is Gauteng North and this, this will include areas like Pretoria. Inga is Mpumalanga, Limpopo as well as the Free State. Renal and Robin will be covering the whole of KZN and then last but not least will be Mornay who covers the Eastern and the Northern Cape. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have a fantastic day further.